Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to update the PHP version in WordPress in 2024. So today, we're addressing a crucial aspect of keeping your WordPress site secure and up to date. How to update the PHP version in WordPress in 2024. So if you want to ensure optimal performance and security for your website, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step of updating your PHP version. Just the fundamental aspects of maintaining a healthy WordPress site. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your browser, just go to this URL section in here and type wordpress.com and hit the enter button. If it's your first time in here, you'll not find yourself on a page like this. For just contest, I'll show you context. I'll just show you here. As an example, you'll find yourself in here. So you'll have to go to the top right corner, click on login to login into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started to create a new account for your own. Of course, if you don't know nothing about uh, WordPress, you can scroll down to read more information about this website, first of all. And you can see here even the plans. Check it all with the features. I'll, you can post the video and check it all by your own. And yeah. So once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a place like this. So to begin, you'll have, once you're logged in into your account, you'll have to navigate into your dashboard, then of course, updates. So I just open this to show you, like go here to dashboard as an example. And of course you can go like to updates. You'll find here home and updates. So if you click here on updates, as you can see, they will basically show you the plugins that you should update, the themes that you should update, but there is no PHP version here. So just go back here to dashboard if you didn't find it an update. Some of you will find PHP version updates, but if you didn't, go to just to the dashboard and keep scrolling here. And as you can see, you'll find the PHP updates recommended. So your site is not in, uh, running on outdated version of PHP, which is 7.3.14, which does not receive security updates. It should be updated. What is PHP and how does it affect my site? PHP is one of the programming language uses to build WordPress. Newer version of PHP receive regular security updates and may increase your site performance. The minimum recommended version is 7.4. So if you want to learn more how to update it, just simply go and click on learn about updating PHP. So how can you do it? Get faster, more secure websites updates uh, PHP today. So your WordPress site can be faster and more secure, and you can make this happen. Why PHP matters to you, you can read that. So your website may be faster, your website will be more secure, a faster website, uh, WordPress website will be rewarded by search engines, a faster website will retain visitors better, they will uh, leave it if it takes too long to load, a more secure website is a better like protect, uh, protected against hackers, and these benefits of course are good for you and good for your website's visitors, and these are the reasons you should update that. So how to check your PHP version? Basically, to check it, you will have just to go to the WordPress dashboard as I showed you, and you can even select tools, site health from the sidebar menu, and then select info tab, expand the server section, and scroll down until you see PHP version. So, as an example, if we go here to our dashboard, go to tools, site health, you'll find this right here as an example, and site health status. So, critical issues, five recommended improvements, and as you can see, they will show you kind of everything. So once you do so, as you see, you'll see your PHP version. If this number is at uh, this or higher than that, you don't need to update this. However, if your site is lower, uh, the recommended version running on outdated, of course, and insecure version of PHP, then it's time to update. You also may have to notice a warning such PHP updates required or PHP updates recommended on the dashboard or in the site's health. These serves as important reminders to update PHP and make your site more secure. For updates PHP, of course, make a backup of your website, update WordPress theme and plugins, check PHP compatibility, fix any PHP compatibility issues, and of course, make sure to finish reading this article, all of it. So as they said, before updating it, you'll have to update anything else. So just go back as an example and update your plugins, update your themes, then you can come back in here and simply go and update that. So click on it 
and of course you can even scroll down click on past test to see how is your site like the test that is passed and the test that is not passed so you can click on any of this as an example so basically just go and update that for me i'll not be able to do it in here because that's just a site like it's not the real wordpress so i'm just showing you uh, and here in this i can of course uh I'll add plugins do a lot of things on it but it's not the real one this is the real one you will need the plan of course to do all of that so me for me i don't have a plan that's why i'm using this of course it's wordpress but it's something like it but it's it is wordpress so don't worry you'll find all of that you go to tools you go to site health you'll find everything in here and you'll basically have just some just simply go and click on updates but before as you said before, you will have to go and back up your website before making any significant changes. Always back up your website and this will ensure that you have a safe copy to revert to in case of anything expected happens during the updates process. You can use a reliable backup plugin for this purpose. You can check for some of them. It's very, very easy to check. An update in the PHP version often involves like changes on the server side so contact uh, your hosting provider or check their documentary to understand the process of updating and some hosting providers like offers a user-friendly interface to change php version while others may require assistance from supports if your hosting provider uses like cpanel you can change the php version easily you can log into your cpanel navigate to multi php manager or php selector and choose the php desired as an example version you can save the changes and keep in mind that some hosts might have slightly different interface. Now for update the PHP version, just go and test or go through a test, test through your websites and check various like pages, functionalities and forms, ensure everything works as expected. And this step is crucial, of course, to catch any compa uh, compatibility issues that might arise with the new PHP version. Make sure to keep, even keep an eye on your website's performance in the day following the updates, monitor for any errors or issues that might arise or might arise. If you encounter, of course, problem, you can revert to the previous PHP version while seeking solutions from the support of WordPress. And yeah, and there you have it. You've successfully learned how to update your PHP version in WordPress in 2024. Keeping your PHP version up to date is essential for security and performance so if you have any questions uh, if there is a specific topic or if there is a specific topic as you can see that you might want me to cover in the next tutorial drop it down below in the comment section and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll catch you in the next video